Oh, there he goes in the net. Boom. Whew. That is awesome right there, man. That caps off a perfect day, Scott. We've it got, does. You know, what do we... That's right, we are back in the Amazon and uh, we got a group from Utah. We're chasing everything that has teeth, swims, peacock bass, piranha, you name it. We're gonna try to catch it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's fun Amazon adventure. All right, fish on, man. We're up here fishing at the point. Looks like I've got a butterfly. Oh, a popoka. A popoka, which is a little bit different. This is a cool little fish. Probably about a three pound three pound uh, butterfly but you know or, or uh, peacock but they fight like an eight pound fish and they hit like a mass truck check that out that is so cool beautiful fish right there what do you think scott i think that's great little three pounder beautiful fish beautiful awesome all right put him back let's go here we go baby Holy cow, another big fish just made a cast. You know, right now what we're doing is that we're making a lot of casts and so the camera's off. We pick it up right when we hook up and this is a big fish. He was up in the trees. Oh, he's probably six, eight pounds. Holy cow. But the strike is so violent on these fish. Look at this. There is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. That's awesome. How cool is that? That's what we're fishing for right there. We're on the Amazon again. Got a whole group from Utah with us. So I know someone's saying, hey, you're not in Utah. Well, it's all about Utah, Utah people, and other stuff. And check this fish out right here. So he's four, he's four or five. But that's what we're doing right there. That's what we're looking for. How cool is that? Thundered it. Look at that bulb on his head. Is that not the coolest thing ever? That is so cool. We'll just drop him back in. Let him go. And he is gone. So let me show you something. This is what we're using. This is our technique. We're basically throwing yo zuris. And what we're doing is we're fishing it just like we would at strawberry. So if I'm up at strawberry and I'm using a pointer 78, my technique is just simply cast it right up to the shore and then I'm just twitching like this, twitching a pause, and it's quite a bit faster than what you would normally do because these big fish want it fast. You'll be bringing it out and then it's just pow like that and it's a, it's a big fish. So, dude, the fishing is incredible. It's so hot right now and humid, but wish you guys were here. All right, man, we got an arowana on right here, just casting up into the trees. And uh, Scott just had about a 10 to 12 pound arowana on. We couldn't get the camera out in time. It spit it, but I've got a decent arowana right here. I want to show you this fish, they're incredible. They look like a giant snake. And uh, they're just awesome. This is what is so much fun about fishing here on the Amazon, is every cast can be something different. Look at this fish. Take a look at this fish down here. That is crazy. He's in the net. Oh. Look at that. Arowana in the net. Now that's a crazy fish right there. That is just a giant snake-like fish. We actually had him for dinner last night. Arowana or lunch. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Check this out. What a cool fish. Look at that! That is a crazy fish. 
Take a look at that fish. Look at that long, absolute crazy body. Look at that. The scales are like, they feel like carp. Giant, giant scales. Look at that mouth. Check that out. Is that not cool or what? And they just feel bulletproof too. I mean, they're solid. It just feels like armor. Everything here has teeth, armor, but that's an incredible fish. Check out his little whiskers right there. Those are, those are way cool. That is another species right there of Amazon fish. Woo! Isn't that cool? All right, we're gonna put this arowana back, get him in the, in the water. The water's so warm, it's high 80s, it's incredible. We'll just release him, give him a tap. Down he goes, man. Is that not cool or what? The Amazon, man, with uh, eight good buddies from Utah, how cool is this? I've, I've got a good fish on. I'm kind of hung up on this branch. He's looped it. And now he's he's down here in the tree branches. So he's got me tangled up really good. How awesome is this? Look at this. In the branches. This is why you need 65 pound test braid right here. Check him out right down there. You can probably see him on the camera. Oh. Look at this, maybe we can get him in the net. Check that out. How cool is that right there? I mean, this is awesome. Look at that fish. That is so beautiful. Molai. Okay, Molai, there you go. Net, net, or not. There you go, look at that. <laughs> How cool is that right there? You gotta love it, John, our guide. Getting it out of the brush for me. How cool. Yeah, look at that right there. That is so cool. We're gonna pass it up and... Oh yeah, take a look at that. Is that not sweet or what? That's, a, that's probably six, eight pounds right there. That's not a tank, but the fight is incredible. Catching these fish is incredible. This is so awesome right here. And that's what's fun, man. Every time you hook a big fish, the fight is absolutely incredible with these fish. You guys need to come try this. It is the trip of a lifetime. There's nothing like it. And you're gonna catch big, big fish like this. We'll, uh, we'll put him back in the water. So every day uh, to get to the, to the lagoons where we're fishing, we've gotta go through these little small estuaries and uh, it's tight. So our guide's gotta navigate all of this. And as you can see, it's super, super tight. And we just work our way through this really thin water right here. It's spectacular. I mean, this is what you think the Amazon should be like. And it's probably about six inches deep right here. And we'll just work our way down through these areas to get from lagoon to lagoon. Um, so he's got the motor up and he'll just kind of grind and bump and push through the logs. But it's a spectacular way to do it. We're seeing caiman, we see all kinds of stuff in here, monkeys. It's just been spec spectacular, but you know, look at the colors. How incredible is that? The Amazon. And this is how we travel from lagoon to lagoon. Hooked up on another really big arowana. And there was actually two of them in there. Did you see that? There were two big arowana going after this fish. Uh, this is a giant here. This is a big arowana. Strip and line. Just changed out to a Sabil. Swim bait and just jerking it, making it flash and dance. But check this fish out. Big arowana. Here he comes to the boat. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. Big arowana. Oh, get back in the boat. That is so cool. That's a big arowana right there. What do you think, Scott? I think that is awesome. 
Still looking for that big Atawana. Dude, there were two in there. When I went in there, they were both trying to explode on it. That is incredible. Two fish right there, boom, and they were just fighting for it. And it is awesome, I'll tell you what. Big baits, you're moving them, you know, twitch, twitch, a lot of speed movement, and these fish just come up and crush it. Here comes the arowana. Scott's gonna pass it to me. <laughs> That's a piglet right there. Take a look at that. There's another giant arowana. Look at that. Is that not the coolest thing? Take a look at that mouth and the gold color. That is incredible right there. Amazon fishing arowana. That is sick! All right, we're gonna put him back. Fish on, man. We just finished our siesta, and I've got a big fish here, but he's kind of up in some timber, still free. I don't know if he's in the logs or not. Feels like he feels like he might be in the trees, but he's still pulling hard. It's a big fish, whatever it is. And he's got himself down on a tree, but he'll surge every once in a while. Man, let's see if he's still there. We're gonna creep in on him. Let's hope he's still there. That was a big fish. Very big fish. Yeah, we're checking. He, I haven't felt him. I don't want to give him any slack. I want to keep it tight. So if he's, if he's hooked up, he's still pinned. Last time this happened, I had him all of a sudden take off again. It's a big fish. Line. You got line, I'm giving you slack. Hold on. Got it, you got line, it's open. It's spooling. There he is. Oh, 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 oh there he is. It's a good fish. Hey, it's spooling, just I'm spooling. Here he comes. Oh gosh, that's a big fish. This is what's awesome. Oh! Woo! Look at that! <laughs> that's a big fish. Holy cow, big fish, big fish. Cut my line. Look at this. this what do you think? 12. 12. 12. 12. That's what I like to hear. 12. 12, pounds. baby. Yes. Take a look at that right there. Oh, are you kidding me, baby? 12 pounds. Boo! Look at that. That is an absolute pig. Freaking monster fish right there. That's what I'm talking about. How awesome. I mean, I don't know if you saw that, but he is wrapped, un wrapped himself underneath the tree and out, and then he was pinned. Once our guy John got underneath and started playing, he was able to fish him out, and then we just cut my lure off. Let's give him a little drink. So that's a 12. And that was caught on a Sabeel Magic Swimmer that I bought at Sportsman's Warehouse. How cool is that right there? Yes! All right, we're gonna take some pictures and then we'll be back to you. All right, check out that beauty. 12 pounds. We're gonna... We're gonna put this old boy back. Look at the hump. Look how awesome that is. Look at that color. That's just incredible. Look how beautiful. So I'm gonna grab, didn't even need to, gone. How cool is that right there? John is the man. Got it out for us off the tree. Boom! And I think I've got a big peacock on right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be a, uh, ooh, pull and drag. Oh, I love it, man. Big fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Big peacock. Big peacock. Big peacock. Look at that. Oh, I love that. You kidding me, man? Take a look at that right there. Big peacock. 
He's only about eight pounds. That's eight, nine, but you know, that's a great way to start the day off right there. Yes, are you kidding me? We just had probably an 80 or 90 pound um, arapaima roll right at the boat. Scott's fishing arapaima. I'm throwing for big uh, peacock. We're gonna show you this fish right now. So we're kind of double teaming. John said, hey, put that big Sabil swim bait on. That's not exactly how he said it, but it was in Portuguese and we understood what he said. And uh, threw it out there. My third or fourth cast with it, boom, big takuna day. So we're gonna show you, uh, we're gonna show you the fish right now. Eight, Eight pounds, that's about what I thought. Take a look at that bad boy right there. Eight pound fish, man, how awesome is that? That's way cool. We're gonna put him back, let him go right now. We got pictures of eight pounders, plus we got some video. Look at that, look at the hump on his head. Hot is sweet. Very, very cool. Quick release, and we'll be back to fishing Arapaima. And, and there he goes. Well, here we are on day two, morning of. We're just working our way up to the next kind of lake or lagoon that we're gonna fish. And Scott has spotted a red tail cat in this small little channel area. So we're gonna chase the catfish for a minute and then head back out after peacock, atapaima, arawana, whatever we can catch today. Okay, so, so we're going up these small little estuaries and Scott has been wanting to catch a red tailed cat and we've been pitching at him. And finally, we made it happen. We've got a big red tailed catfish. Check this out. There it is. There's a really cool Amazonian catfish species. Probably eight, nine, 10 pound cat. How cool is that right there? So we got to get Scott his species. We've been pitching to him. And every time they'd go to take it, I would set the hook or Scott would set it. And John, our guide would say, no, that's stupid. <laughs> so we got ourselves a cool cat. Look at this thing. We'll get some close ups of it, but that is way cool. Gonna get John to grab him. Get a picture. Look at that. That is so cool. Red tailed okay. cat, baby. Look at that. All right, dude, there it is, man. Check that out. That is a red tailed cat. One of the ones we've been wanting to get. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna put this bad boy back in the water. There he goes, man. That is one of the cool things about a trip like this, the species that you catch. Everything we catch is crazy cool and it's so fun. So there's another one, check, red-tailed cat. That's about as cool as it gets. All right, so after Scott hooked up, he's caught two fish throwing the jerk bait. I'm no dummy, man. I uh, I switched up, went to the jerk bait, and. Uh, Cast it, you gotta get right up into the bank. Kind of figured that out this morning that if you're not right on the bank, you're just not gonna get him. This is a decent fish. He's kind of hooked in the side and the mouth so he feels bigger than he is. But he's probably six to eight pounds. But you gotta get right up in the bank and then having good equipment for this is a key. If you don't have 65 pound test braid, you know, a reel that's 11 to 12 bearings, really good rod, these fish will destroy you. They'll just wreck you and they're, they are bait wrecking pools. This is this is just one of the coolest experiences ever. And it, he's foul hooked, so I'm gonna lighten up my drag a little bit so that it doesn't tear him out. He's kind of got himself kind of goofy. It's a decent fish, but he's in the side, so he's he's acting bigger than he is. Really good fish. Good fish. This is awesome, man. Yeah, he's in the side. If we can get a net, can't yeah, turn his head. 
Boom! So big. Nice fish. Way to go. That's awesome. Gordo. Yeah, chunky, the chunky. The fat fish. Ten, eight, eight. All right, take a look at that. There's an eight pounder. You saw Scott's earlier, it was super long and thin, chunks out of it. If Scott's was as girthy as this, his probably would have been pushing 19 pounds. But that right there, that's an eight. That's just a solid, solid average peacock bass right here, you know, out on the Amazon. What a beautiful fish. All right, we're gonna put him in and let him go.